Gospel of Mark tells us that when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices to anoint the body of Jesus. Upon arrival, they found the heavy stone rolled back and a young man sitting inside the tomb. He said, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Then they were told then to go and tell Peter and the disciples the news. The story of Christine in our living gospel is about a young girl born with multiple disabilities who suffered from being locked away in a room and totally ignored. But once she was loved and nurtured, her spirit was released and she was healed. Being locked away couldn't hold Jesus back either. The power of the Holy Spirit and the love of his Father brought Jesus to a new life, just as Christine was brought to new life through her foster parents. During the past year of COVID, I feel as if we have been locked away in darkness too. Under the social distancing guidelines and regulations, we were unable to host RCIA this year. The Easter Saturday vigil has always held special significance to me because that is when we welcome our candidates and catechumens into a new life through full communion in the body of Christ. Although we have no new brothers and sisters to welcome this year, we will nonetheless celebrate the resurrection of our risen Lord Jesus Christ and let him usher new life into our spirit. As we light the new Paschal fire tonight, which symbolizes the light of Christ coming into a darkened world, let us open wide our hearts to receive that light into our very being so that we too can be raised to a new life in him. Our parish prayer says, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with gladness and give us a rich, deep share of your peace and love so that we may extend that peace and love and kind to one another. Our action today is to reflect on what holds us back from living a full life and ask the Lord to release it. I will ask him to help me to be more forgiving of myself and others so that I can more freely share his peace and joy and love with others. Let us all pray that the light of Christ will lead new brothers and sisters to us who are seeking to know the love and the mercy of Jesus. May God bless us all this glorious Easter, for Christ has risen from the dead and brings saving light into our darkened world.